the school system. And like, I remember as a child, like I remember my mother had to like really fight. I'm glad my mother got knowledge of suffering because if she didn't, I would have been diagnosed with ADHD. Mm -hmm. And you know, you put on written in and all these prescriptions that pretty much eventually it kills the soul. You know, breaks down the vessel and the soul is gone. So I just thank you, Mom, for fighting for that, because Dad would have been like, well, you know. If that's what he needs. <laughs> so Damn, Dad. Yeah. I graduated from high school with a 1.3 GPA. From the field of academia, I would be classified as a dumbass. That the end result was my grade point average, pointing to show the world that my intelligence was non-existent. That my very being was being a mistake and that success was only a pagan myth. At least that's how I felt. Battling with teachers who treated me like an isolated inmate for simply refusing to sit at a desk to write on stories that I knew wasn't real headlines. Propping my mouth wide open to force feed me pledge of allegiance to a flag that's united against me. Mm. And we say we love our children. But the question is, do we love our children enough to love ourselves first? Just a thought. How we self-neglect our self-worth while baptizing our children in the name of education without understanding what that term really means. That the context of the word isn't based on the measure of intelligence, but the influence of instruction. I advise for you to read chapters 1 through 4, not for the sake of enhancing your reading, but to enhance your B to an A. B stood for barely. A stood for anticipation. Barely anticipating the purpose for my existence, but mama told me to go to school. Mm. But school told me to go back home That your sense of reasoning is not welcome here We don't need you to be intelligent So don't you dare ask no motherfucking questions that we can't answer You just listen, listen, listen Sit, stay, don't laugh Walk in a straight line Read this, write that Slang is not a language Who told you to speak this way? Who told you Christopher Columbus was a slave trader? Who told you Abraham Lincoln hated black people? Who told you Thomas Jefferson owned slaves? Who told you you was the first on this planet? Who told you to be you? Why do people trade in self-efficiency for efficient points? As if money can buy back the times your mother said I loved you with no grades mm -hmm. As if a letter grade can determine your brains of success through memorization and recitation, but this is what we call education. Because it's strange to me that they tried to diagnose me with ADHD, but the teachers couldn't point out the GC of, of life. So all I was left with was the LCD, denominator of a demise institution that tried to teach me the art of self-hate. So I love every bit of me from a 1.3 to pursuing a science degree to writing life-changing poetry. My success is endless because my self-love so remember, self-worth will always be dictated by self-love.